Hello, I'm Frank Hannaway, and welcome to Big Journey, Small Steps. Well, I'm doing well, and it looks very different than I expected it to look. And what I realized is I'm finally accepting more and more the situation I'm in and realizing to the full what an incredible workshop my life is for spiritual growth. I think I have, a, have developed a very different outlook than the average American, um, whatever that is. Because I was an average American in this outlook, I always thought I came first. And as I've gradually shifted to think other people come first, I didn't realize what a wealth of strength there is in that. So I think I always thought if I put other people first, I would be codependent or I would be diminished. I'd be giving up, giving up, giving up. And it really is true that the more you give, the more you receive. And so Right now, every situation that comes up, I'm trying to make it more and more into a situation where I put other people's needs first. And it's really hard to know what other people's needs are. And does this make any sense? I think, I think what happened is, I, you know, it's occurred to me that when people go to prison, there must be a time period where they just don't accept it. I mean, it could take years and every day they're angry, every day they're fighting, every day they're, you know, their mind factory is manufacturing all these thoughts about various things that aren't helpful to living and surviving in a prison. And one day you just wake up and go, oh, I'm in prison. And you accept it. Um, does it happen like that? Well, it didn't for me. It's been very, very, very gradual. And is my life a prison? Well, in one sense, it's, it's a very structured life in a very confined area. And there's a minimal amount of opportunity for circumstances to change. There is zero opportunity to get other people to change, particularly my mom. So if my mom has an attitude or a request or something that annoys me, she, she, you, there's no way to explain it to her. She's decided that it's going to go <laughs> that way. So you have to work around it in such a way. You have to find a solution that still meets her need. It's, it would be so comforting to think that if I put all my effort into changing everybody else, I would be joyful and peaceful. But actually what happens is um, the less I tend to myself, and the more I think about others, the happier I am. Whoa, it's hard. Spiritual growth is really painful. It's not the kind of pain like one thing happens to you and, um, and like you have a wound and the wound heals over time. It isn't like that. It's like a continuous chipping away, it's sort of like, this is terrible. This is, I shouldn't even say this, this is sort of like leprosy where one thing falls away after the other until everything that you thought you were is gone and you're only left with this, hopefully, pure inner core, or at least that's my deep belief. <laughs> is this too heavy? 
forget it. Um, I don't know if you were able a minute ago if the cicadas came over the um, it, it came over the microphone, but they're really loud here. And I always hear this thing about the 14 years. So I don't know if that applies to Florida because we have cicadas every single year and they're deafening, deafeningly loud. Anyway, that's just an aside. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me think things out on camera. From the bottom of my heart, as I always do, I wish you peace and joy.